2525. Since the beginning of 2018, barely a week goes by without federal lawmakers in the Senate discussing security challenges in the country. Nigerians have lost count of how many times lawmakers have observed a one-minute silence to honor people killed in various herdsmen and farmers' clashes and other acts of violence across the country. It's the beginning of another legislative week, and yet again, lawmakers are observing a one-minute silence for some Nigerians killed recently in Nasarawa State. It is our prayer that the souls of all those who are killed in Nasarawa and other parts of Nigeria should rest in perfect peace. Throughout the weekend and up to the moment of speaking, herdsmen have unleashed terrorist mayhem across the southern senatorial district of Nasarawa State, leaving in their wake several dead bodies, numerous wounded persons, and hundreds of thousands of internally displaced persons. Lawmakers express frustration that previous resolutions adopted by the Senate, either calling on President Buhari to find solutions to the unrelenting killings or asking law enforcement agencies to prevent the killings, have not yielded any results. Maybe the, the advice of some nationalists to the people to find ways of protecting themselves may not be out of order. Because a government that cannot protect people, it's a very, very sad development. For me, this government has tried a lot where the previous government failed. So they've done their best, and we can only help our people if we begin to look for ways of pro, uh, you know, promoting peaceful coexistence amongst us as Nigerians. In a speech reminiscent of that made weeks ago by the Deputy Senate President, the federal lawmaker had this to say. December 31st, the military struck and they overthrew the civilian government of Shehu Shagari. The tension in Nigeria in 83 is nothing compared to what is happening today. Some lawmakers want drastic action by President Buhari to address the persistent killings and acts of violence in the country. I'm saying this, oh, I tell you, that all the service chiefs and head of security agency should immediately be sacked. There's no two ways about this. I believe these people have lounged enough. I believe they have exhausted all ideas within them. Two other cases again where two heads of security agencies were calling among themselves. The matter was brought to us again to say, let's ask the president to do this. They should be dismissed. They should be removed from office. The Senate thereafter asked its ad hoc committee on security to investigate the immediate and remote causes of the recent killings in Nasarawa State. But this latest investigation ordered by the Senate adds to the growing number of investigations which the Security Ad Hoc Committee is currently looking into, a pointer to the distressing security situation in the country. Linda Akibi, Channels Television News.